Knowing which method to use can be confusing. This all depends on the type of data we are working with and the purpose of using mean, median, or mode. Mean is used when the data is symmetrical, meaning there are no extreme highs or lows in the numbers. A number to the extreme will skew the data so that the mean becomes much higher or lower. Mean gives equal weight to every value, so it is useful in calculating grade averages, sports statistics, and average speeds. Here on the board behind me, I have an example of a set of data that would not be a very good set for using mean. The following data showing ages of kids is asymmetrical. And that means that I have two numbers here, in this particular case, that are way higher or way lower than most of the numbers. So 10, 12, 12, 11, 17, and 15 are generally near each other. But 2 is way, way lower than those numbers, and 25 is so much higher that this set would, it would not be good for calculating mean. Median is used with asymmetrical data. This will give less weight to the values at the extremes. Median is most useful when comparing things like prices, where a consumer may not want to buy the cheapest or the most expensive, but wants to find a price right in the middle. For example, a buyer looking to buy a house in a neighborhood might look to find the median prices of the houses sold in that area because he wants to know the price for a house that is not too expensive because it might be overpriced for the neighborhood, but not too inexpensive because it might be in bad condition. Mode is most useful when the data are not numbers. Mode is used to find the most common or most popular results of surveys, elections, and lists of things. For example, you might be interested in knowing which school has won the tennis championship most often in the last 10 years. You would be listing out the championships won by each school in the last 10 years. The mode of that number will give you the school which won the championship the most in the last 10 years.